Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Allison Franz with us. She helps people who feel held back by grief and trauma completely break free so they can flourish and thrive in their life. She put the concept of life transformation on the map in her home state of Rhode Island when she opened Paradigm Shift LLC in 2016. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Of course. Grateful to have you here, Allison. Um, let's jump into the first one. The first question I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Well, I definitely think that, you know, the most impactful story I have in my life is from when I lost my dad several years ago. And I was just totally devastated. I suffered a lot of really overwhelming emotional pain and grief. And I didn't know what to do with myself. And this is going to sound crazy, but what I thought was the solution was to get him to somehow reconnect with him, to have him back. And I would even have dreams where he was still alive and everything seemed to be okay. And I would wake up from those dreams thinking, yes, this is the solution. And it was really a crazy way to think, but that's how I was thinking until I finally reached the point where I was so miserable that I knew I just needed to heal. So I tried everything I could think of. Nobody was offering solutions to healing from grief. And so I decided I was going to have to do it on myself. And so I came up with my own way to heal. And I actually ended up even making my life much, much better than I ever imagined. And so basically my worst nightmare turned into a complete blessing because now I know how to help people heal completely from devastating experiences like trauma and grief. And I help them to create a life that they really love. So I would have never, ever guessed that things would turn out that way, but they did. And it was a blessing in disguise. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? I think it's just that you can heal from anything and break free from any issue that's holding you back. You know, we live in a quantum universe, which means that everything is made up of energy. And in order to create healing and positive change, all you need to know is how to shift the energy that's creating the problem. It's really much easier to shift problems than, you know, we've been taught. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? You're not necessarily industry specific. I would say to just do what makes your heart happy because we live in a time in human evolution where you can make a business out of doing almost anything you can think of which is really an amazing concept. And, you know, it will require you to stretch out of your comfort zone and you'll probably need to do things like work on yourself and invest in yourself, maybe with a business coach, maybe with a life coach, maybe with a healer to help you get past blocks that you might have. But we really live in a time where you can live in an unlimited way. So do what truly makes your heart happy. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? It would be, don't worry, be happy, pretty much. You know, don't try to control every, anything. Um, just, you know, be curious about life and just let life take you where you need to go. Um, and in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Um, I think it's about really, you know, feeling whole. And feeling like yourself, you know, and I think that 
you know, loving yourself and spiritual practice is a really important part of that because that's actually our nature to be loving and to come from love. Um, but a lot of us don't connect with that. Instead, we're taught to love other people and not necessarily ourselves, but that's who we are. And I feel like, you know, that's how we become whole and happiness is really inside. Um, sure things on the outside can make us happy, but that's really only like temporary happiness, a new car, a new pair of shoes can work really well for a day, a week, a month, but the lasting happiness really is inside. And what is the best book that you've read? And what was the number one thing you learned from that? I have a lot of favorite books, but um, probably my very favorite is Power Versus Force by David Hawkins. I don't know if you're at all familiar with that book. It's a book about consciousness. Mm -hmm. You are? Have yep. you read it? I have. It was a while ago, though. But yes, I have. Okay. I, I'm just so in love with that book, and I'm really in love with his work. Um, it explains the levels of consciousness and the path to spiritual enlightenment in a really profound way that just makes total sense. And he has a really unique style uh, that I really haven't heard anyone else explain it in that way. And, you know, I, you know, I'm, I work a lot with energy and I just love how he talks about how, you know, we all have this energetic vibration that's created by our dominant emotions and those dominant emotions serve as attraction for what happens to us in our life. So if we're feeling a really low, you know, if our primary emotions are really low vibration, like shame or guilt, then we're going to um, be experiencing equal experiences in our life to that vibration. Uh, so I just think it's, it's just a really profound way of explaining the world and, you know, human evolution. And uh, what is your favorite quote and why? So, again, I have many favorite quotes, but I think my most favorite is one by Rebecca Campbell, who says, I believe your tragedies, your losses, your sorrows, and your hurt happen for you and not to you. And I bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. And that just resonates with me so much because I feel like that's my story. And I feel like that's actually what's meant to happen in life. You know, I feel like all these things that happen to us, they, in most cases, they're a blessing in disguise in some way, somehow. So I think it's just such a beautiful quote that's so needed. And thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where is the best place for people to find and or connect with you online? So you could, um, I have a number of places where you can find me online and, um, I, my book is online. You can find the grief cure book on either Amazon or you can get a free copy at the grief cure book.com. <laughs> I also have a website, ParadigmShiftRI.com, which is my main website, and I'm also on social media. Awesome. Thanks again for joining us. All right. Thanks so much. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.